Uh, there is a tiny Iraqi restaurant just outside Arlington that's been written up by several food critics in just the last few weeks. Now, nearly everyone says it's some of the most authentic food you'll find in mm. all of North Texas. So Hannah Davis went for the cuisine, but well, she left with an even better story. Mm. Bashar al Mudafar will tell you every plate of food tells the story of a chef's life. You taste the smoky on it. And right now, Bashar's story is about as good as it gets, running his own restaurant with his family by his side. I work between 15 to 20 hours every day. When I see the, the smile on, on the customers, this makes my heart like this big. This is lamb kebab. But this story started thousands of miles away, in the middle of the Iraq war. Bashar owned two restaurants in his hometown of Baghdad. It was there he met and befriended two dozen hungry American troops. Like brothers, then I met them. Bashar and the soldiers bonded over food and became friends. And as the situation in Iraq got worse, they wrote him a recommendation letter if he were ever to want to get out. I love them. When Bashar's brother was killed by terrorists, he grabbed those papers and applied to become a refugee. It took two years of background checks, but he and his family finally made it. Food, he says, and those troops quite literally saved his life. I, I don't know. They, they trust me like, like brothers because I help them. I help them. That struggle is why Bashar is so grateful to have the life he has now. Here in Texas, a life he fought for. A chef's story of survival you can taste on every plate. Hi, how are you doing? Hannah Davis, News 8 Daybreak. Okay.